Hello and welcome in! If you're here, it means you want to become a VTuber, but you don't want to break the bank. So today I'm going to show you the quickest, easiest and cheapest way to make a VTuber. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is download an application called Vroid Studio and you will find this on your Steam library. Once you've downloaded it, open that up. I found this is probably the simplest way you can start designing your own OC. As you can see, I've already made loads of different designs, but let's, for the, for the sake of this, go ahead and create a new one. So I want to make a female character. You can mess with the proportions on this. You can edit the body, the height, all of these things um, to really make it present your, uh, your OC. So let's keep things simple. Let's find a face set we like. So I like this as just like a, a base starting point. But obviously you can go in and you can edit the eyes, you can pick this sort of shape. I personally quite like these, but I don't like the middle, so let me pick these. I think these are a lot cuter shape, but maybe I don't love the irises, I want a little more speckle. You can go through, pick the irises. You can also import different irises, so I've downloaded these from a software called Booth PM, which is a website uh, we will get onto in a hot moment. You can edit your eyeliner, eyelashes, your lips. Um, even your skin textures, blush on your cheek, all of these things. You can add face paint, which I think is pretty cool. Look at this. You can get like some blues going on. You can get a little plaster if you're a little rough and tumble. It is absolutely fantastic. You can then move on to your hair. Here are all your different hair presets. You can change the color of these, of course. Maybe I want, maybe I want her to have nice cute purple hair. I think she looks really pretty right now. Um, you can move on to the body. You can get like different body shapes, but I would just for now stick to these basic two. I really don't think it makes much difference as most VTubers, I don't know about yourselves, stream from like the, the, like the waist up, really. Um, so unless you're doing full body streaming, which we can do a tutorial on, um, I would just recommend sticking to the basic one. Make your life easy. There are also various different outfits you can have. So you can have, let me zoom out and make her a little bit higher. You can have little suits, you can have maid outfits, you can have kind of like gym attire. Um, you can have obviously the classic maid set, the classic, which for the premise of this comes in loads of colours. I think the purple looks cutest on her. Maybe the black? Nah, we'll stick, stick to the purple, keep, keep in the colour scheme. You can then change your socks, so if I click my middle mouse button and pull, you can change the socks, so maybe I want her to have black socks, maybe I want her to have little trainer socks, maybe a little uneven thing going on. Whatever you think looks the best. Same goes for shoes. Maybe I want her to wear the, have the Crocs and socks vibe going on. Flip-flops and socks, because we're not trendy out here. <laughs> Same for accessories. There are not that many accessories yet, but we do have different kind of glasses and, of course, ears. Where would we be without ears? So maybe I want these to stay in, in theme with the little purple vibe so I can change the colour of my cat ears. Note that doing all this on Vroid, these will be fully, like, I guess you would say raked on, on live 2D and 2D avatars. You obviously have to do all the rigging yourself. It's a very difficult process. When you build something in here, the physics and sort of all of that side of it, you do not have to do any of it. You just design a character and, and that is it. It's simple, as simple as could be. Um, when you go for the look, I would highly recommend taking the outline off because compared to that, I personally think it looks a lot smoother and better with no outline. Um, but it's obviously up to you what you think looks better. I would just like to show you the expression editor. Now, once you've exported this, it will come out with some preset expressions. You can add more expressions using Unity, but I would recommend sticking to the basic ones. So at the minute I've got smile, sad, angry, happy, surprised, eyes closed, and then we got like winking. So for example, I'm not I'm not thrilled with the the uh, the sad emote. I think she looks a little bit more like miserable. Um, you can obviously go for like demon mode, you can open their eyes fully, you can close their eyes, make their irises a little wider. I think opening the irises uh, adds a lot when you're trying to make a sad emote, personally. And if you want to make like a so spicy emote, um, I would recommend hiding the highlights. But you can go ahead and you can edit the shapes and the eyebrows and all, all of these things. They do obviously have some like preset things, but I think just opening the irises up makes a hell of a lot of a difference to making your character look a lot sadder. Anyway, once you're happy with all these different facial expressions 
and the the faces you will make when you're pronouncing certain uh like noises so your aios and use um you can click up here and go to export as vrm once you've done that you just have to click export and it'll come up with this i would recommend filling out all of this of course it says you don't need to i would recommend filling in the title the creator for the rest of it, just put one in each of these boxes. I know you don't need to, but I've had issues in Unity when these haven't been filled out, so I would just fill them out. I'd also tick all three of these. I've never needed to, you, obviously I'm not doing any of these sexual acts. I wouldn't, I, I would just tick them. What, like, that's what I would do. Just tick them and then your life is easy. <laughs> Once these are all ticked and you've filled all this out, you'll be able to click the export button. Once you've exported it, save it somewhere safe. And here is how you are going to use it. You need to pick a software that you feel comfortable using that you think would best show your 3D VTuber off. I personally highly recommend VC Face. There's a lot of options. You can use animes. Um, there's, a, there's lots of 3D options out there. But personally, VC Face has been the best to me. I never really get any lag. I have no issues. It's very easy to calibrate. And I just feel like it has, it, it, the, it's the most there in terms of tracking. So let me unhide this and I'll show you what it'll come up with when you first start. So as soon as you load in, your screen will look like this, but you will not have all of these, these options down here. You will need to click add avatar and find the VRM file you just exported. As you can see, I've made many of these, but click whichever one you want and then open it. So let's, for example, we'll use the Pokey Demon today. I know there's two of me on the screen right now, but there you go. You can use Alt in your mouse pad to zoom out um, as well. So just remember that. Now there's a few settings I would recommend changing in here to get the most out of your 3D avatar. So first thing I would suggest doing is going into your settings and going into your uh, general settings. It looks something like this. Obviously it depends. I'm a very hyper streamer. So I have kind of I've reduced my body stiffness because I like the I like the wiggle and the hyperness that it is. But if you're more of a calm streamer, you might want a little less movement in your character, um, as not to kind of throw off the theme that your your uh, stream is going for. You, I would also recommend turning off auto blink, um, but otherwise your VTube is just going to randomly uh, blink when you're not. Right. The other and one of the key things I would recommend you doing is turning on this experimental expression detection. It's it's probably the best feature that you can find in VC Face, and it will show you all of these things down here. So you will have all of these expressions that you exported from Viva and Studio. Your neutral, fun, angry, joy, sorrow, surprise, and you can calibrate each one of these to a the hotkey there you go that's the button i'm after you can calibrate all of these to different hotkeys so i have neutral i have fun i have angry um i have joy i have sorrow surprised and i have a few more that i've created on unity but that is a completely different tutorial um so please turn on your experimental expressions and you can calibrate it so you don't need to click those buttons and it will just see your face in that expression and reflect it on your viewers. The next thing I would recommend doing is adding your microphone in here and obviously using the correct uh, webcam that you're going to use. Um, having the mic allows for slightly better uh, like mouth detection. If it can hear you, it, it really does uh, help with the, the, the mouth tracking. So I just recommend making sure that's all set up correctly. Um, in terms of exporting this, you may want to select virtual camera. So as you can see on here, I currently have the, the settings over my VTuber face. Now, if I was doing this on stream, that would, that would all show up. It would show up exactly like this. Now I have exported this as a game, so it exports this entire page. However, you can set it up to export as, where is it? Virtual camera. So all you'll have to do is go into your, um, Go into your OBS, click uh, camera, and then you should be able to uh, select basically just your avatar as a camera and it'll have a transparent background, which I really like, but for some reason I like to show stream what I'm doing in VC face sometimes. Uh, so I just have it, I just have it as a game capture, but I'm not sure I recommend that. The next thing you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is if you have a webcam, do not tick this box. Do not tick this box. 
But if you would like to slightly improve your tracking, please click this iPhone AR tracking receiver box here and select VTube Studio. Obviously, I'm not going to show you the IP because that, that's my IP for my house. Um, but once you click this, it will it will connect to an app on your phone. So obviously, if you're an iPhone, uh, iPhone user, you can have MoCap, you can have VTube Studio, any of these things. If you are an Android user, you will want to use something called Meow Face. Um, once you sign it up, it's quite self-explanatory, but just make sure you tick this box. It will connect to the IP in your house and it will match up with this, basically. Just make sure they match and as long as they do, it will receive to the computer. I would highly recommend this for clicking the facial features, the eye movement and the, the gaze. Personally, for me, it, it, the eyes particularly are a lot, lot, lot more accurate. I think I can like, if I just look around the room now, I feel like that's quite a lot of expression on my eyes. And like if I look away from the camera and back, I think it is a lot more expression. So that is one of my favorite features out of this. And even with the shut in the eyes, it adds a lot more. You can um, edit the, the weight as well. Um, so if, you know, if you're shutting your eyes a little bit, but it's not registering, if you increase the weight, it sort of increases the sensitivity as it were. Um, once you've done that, you will need to go into your OBS or Streamlabs or whatever streaming software you would like to use. So I'm using OBS and I have just added it as game capture, but like I say, you can add it as um, the camera capture. It's whatever you're most comfortable with. It doesn't matter either way. But in short, that is how you will go about getting a V-Road very easily. If you want to improve it in any way, I would go onto Booth PM and this will show you how to get all of the extra outfits. So if you want Crocs, if you want little cute dresses, if you want, let's have a look at hair textures, because you know, the, the hair color might not be quite what you want, or you want a little bit more shine. You can go through all these uh, iris textures as well. That's how I got my lovely purple eyes. And you can download these, and then inside v you can just click on edit texture and import e each of these textures. So like, these are very pretty. You can go ahead and import those straight onto your model. Um, getting onto textures uh, is a little bit more complicated, but it's certainly the best way to make your V-Roid character not look like a V-Roid, if that makes sense. It gives it a lot more uh, customization and individuality. So I would highly recommend doing that. But in short, that is how you go about becoming a VTuber. I really hope this tutorial was helpful. It is a beginner's tutorial. Um, if, if you know if you want anything more complex, let me know and I will do my best to help with that. Um, and I will make whatever tutorials you guys need me to make. Um, but my name is Fokina, I am a Twitch streamer. So if you would like to go check me out over there, you are more than welcome. I stream three to four times a week and I am just a little, little hyper thing. A little hyper thing, it is, it is pretty great. But that is me and I really, really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it just pointed you in the right direction. Have a fantastic evening, everybody. And I will see you all soon with hopefully a few more helpful bits. Have a good night.